welcome back everyone, my name is Aircode. Today in this video, I am here to bring you the latest news and information for the Update Aquatic. We actually had the confirmation from one of the Bedrock developers about more fish being introduced. The first thing I wanna say is I do have a slight update about the 1.3 beta. It is being tested, it is being worked on. According to the developers, we're expecting one more beta before 1.3. That is to mainly focus on bug fixes. Bugs that have been in the game for a very long time, like vines not decaying. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. But of course, once the beta is available, I will make a video. I will do some live streams. It's just taking a little bit longer. Also, guys, don't forget about my website, which is mcbedrock.com. I do post all the latest news and information on that website, along with add-ons, texture packs, mods, and so much more. So the first thing we have here is actually posted on Discord. If you guys don't have the Minecraft Discord, I'm pretty sure it's just discord.gg forward slash Minecraft. There's a lot of creators in there, such as YouTubers. There's a lot of developers in there, and there's a lot of community members inside of there. So this question was asked towards Thor's Hand 11, saying, Thor, how many new types of tropical fish are being added? And he said, more than a handful. So at this current moment in the latest Minecraft PC snapshots, we have access to three fish that we can actually see in the ocean. We have cod, which is the default ordinary fish in Minecraft. We have salmon, and we also have puffer fish. The salmon are absolutely huge. The puffer fish just reminds me of Miss Puff, of course, from SpongeBob. Now, with those three fish in the game, it's pretty fun, but the oceans are incredibly empty. Now, one question you guys are probably gonna ask is, well, where is Nemo? Where is the clownfish? Apparently, because Nemo is a tropical fish, it should be introduced with the other tropical fish. Now, more than a handful, well, to me that tells me three, four, five, six, seven, eight new fish that could be introduced. And I want you guys to give me some ideas of what types of tropical fish you would like to see. I would definitely love to see Nemo, which is the clownfish, and I would definitely love to see Dory, can't entirely remember what type of fish he is, but there would be a great introduction. Basically, guys, the oceans need more creatures, and we are still waiting for that hostile mob. Wait until the end of today's video, because I have something pretty awesome to share with you. Now, as you can see here, phantoms are being coded into bedrock right now. Thor also commented saying, progress on the phantom port to bedrock is halted for now. We are waiting for the Java version to be more finalized before we port. Because recently on Twitter, Jeb Dinnerbone and I believe some of the pixel artists have confirmed that the Phantom is going to be changing. In the latest snapshot, they've already disabled Phantom spawning in the end because you can't sleep in the end and the Phantoms feed off insomnia. So the Phantom is a work in progress. The Phantom, the way it works is gonna change. What it can drop is going to change and the textures of it are going to change which is why the Bedrock might be taking a little bit longer. If you guys don't know what's happening between Java and Bedrock, they are working on the updated aquatic features on both versions. So for example, the current fish we have in the game, turtles, dolphins, the underwater ruins, they are being coded for the Java version. Meanwhile, things like the Trident, things like this new hostile mob in the oceans, and other things are being developed for the Bedrock version and will be ported to the Java version and vice versa back and forth. They basically want to develop both versions at the same time and just cross over the features. That's how they want to work updates from now on. So it looks like the Phantom is going to be changing. So the ones that we've currently got at the moment, I'm not really happy with it. So I'm really happy that they are changing the Phantom. The next thing I have for you here is again the question, will more types of fish be added to the game? Thor said this, I don't know if clownfish are going to be separate from the other tropical fish. They might just be included with the rest of them. So again, because Nemo is a clownfish, is it gonna be considered one of the tropical fish of the handful that are gonna be introduced? Probably not in my opinion, it shouldn't be. And I was quite surprised when we did get the new fish that we didn't get the cod, the puffer fish, salmon, and Nemo. Um, everyone was asking Dinnerbone, does this, does this mean that like, Nemo is no longer useful in Minecraft and he really didn't say anything. I guess that's going to be something we'll have to find out in the later versions. But that's a small update about that from one developers. By the way, guys, Thor is a bedrock developer. Thor Hands, he doesn't work on the Java version. 
He's working on the Bedrock version, and I believe there's only seven developers for the Bedrock version, which really isn't that much of a big team. Okay, so for the people who want to see Barrier Blocks, it says here, could Barrier Blocks be added? Mega said, considering that you are bringing Phantoms to Bedrock, will you be bringing more Java features like Barrier Blocks to Bedrock? And his response was, they might happen someday. Guys, is there any features on Java version that the Bedrock doesn't have that you would like to see? Because I'll try and push it for development. There's, I mean, Barrier Blocks. It's a small thing, it's a good feature. The Bedrock kind of does have invisible Bedrock, which is kind of a coincidence, but it does not technically have the Barrier Blocks, which would be incredibly useful for servers and map makers. Now I wanna go through a couple of images to end today's video. I found these ones, which I'm pretty sure were meant to represent the current mobs in Minecraft. Top left does look very similar to a salmon. On the right, we have Nemo, which is the clownfish. Bottom left, that looks like a caterpillar, which I'm guessing is meant to be the pufferfish. And on the bottom right, that is the raw fish, the, the cod, that is Minecraft. So I kind of like the designs, but to be honest, I think the designs within Minecraft already are pretty awesome. Also, I would like to see these ones as a tropical design. Again, I don't really know the name of them. I really don't know all my tropical fish. I basically only know Nemo from Finding Nemo, but they would be a good design. Now, the last thing I do have for you is something that I've already shared on social media. I've already shared it in my YouTube community tab. Some of you might have seen this, but it was this image. I found it on Google, and I wanna ask you guys in the comment section, what name would you give to this creature? Of course, it is a creeper face. What would you call it? This is from a Minecraft PC Java mod pack. Uh, I was really curious. We had some great answers, and here's a couple of the community answers. The top one says a creeper, as in an aqua creeper. We had a creepana, which is a creeper piranha. We have a creeper torpedo, and someone responded saying crepido. Then we had torpedo, and we had a couple of other ones. The bottom one says it's a nope fish, which I fully agree with that comment. So guys, the best one, be sure to thumbs it up. That's the latest information I have for all of you. Again, if you do enjoy these videos, guys, then all you gotta do is hit that like button. It tells me and I can keep you all updated. Even if it's just a small response from a developer, it's always good news to find out. Um, again, if you need any more information, go to mcbedrock.com. Link is down below. The latest information is always updated on there before I make any videos. Have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Bye.